All right, folks, buckle up because we're about to dive into some hot off the press Cowboys news that's going to get y'all fired up. Imagine this. Micah Parsons, our defensive dynamo, is stepping into a pivotal season with new leadership. With Dan Quinn gone, will Parsons still be the game changer we know and love? Or will the new defensive scheme shake things up? Meanwhile, Demarcus Lawrence might be on the outs as the Cowboys' eye-fresh talent and budget room. And don't even get me started on the rookies Marshawn Neeland and Sam Williams are on the brink of making their mark. Curious about how this all plays out? Stick around because you won't want to miss how the Cowboys' defensive puzzle is coming together for 2024. All right, y'all, let's dive into the latest buzz about our Cowboys' defensive ends as we gear up for 2024. There's a whole lot of questions hanging in the air about their futures with the team. From the young Dynamo Micah Parsons to everyone else on that depth chart, they've all got something to prove this season. Now, I know Parsons is technically listed as a linebacker, but let's be real here. Based on how Dallas uses him, he's practically a defensive end, spending most of his time chasing down quarterbacks. Until the Cowboys officially switch to a 3-4 scheme, or are it like we see it. Parsons has already shown he's a force to be reckoned with after three stellar years. But this season's a bit different, it's his first without Dan Quinn as the defensive coordinator. It's gonna spark a whole new round of debates. Did Quinn make Parsons a star, or was it the other way around? This year might just give us some answers. So folks, keep your eyes peeled and your spirits high as we watch how this all unfolds. The 2024 season is gonna be one heck of a ride for our Cowboys, and you won't want to miss a second of it. Well, y'all, let's talk about Micah Parsons and what he's got cooking this season. Lucky for him, Mike Zimmer ain't no pushover as a coordinator. With the Cowboys bringing in veteran Eric Kendricks and fresh face Marist Lufau this offseason, plus DeMarvian Overshone coming back from injury, Parsons ain't gonna see much change in his role. He's still gonna be tearing it up as a pass rusher, and that's why folks are still talking about him in the same breath as the defensive ends. Now, Parsons is heading into the final year of his rookie contract, and while he's got that fifth-year option for 2025, it's pretty doubtful he's gonna wanna play for chump change, especially when his buddy C.D. Lamb is making moves for more cash. If Parsons has another standout season, look for him to be just as fierce in getting a new deal as Lamb is. On the other hand, Demarcus Lawrence has got his own worries about his next contract, but it likely ain't gonna be with the Cowboys. Lawrence is a free agent after this season and Dallas might be looking to go cheaper. With Lawrence's $20.4 million cap hit this season and a $7.4 million dead money hit in 2025 due to a void year, his exit could free up some much-needed space. Ton in 33 next April, Lawrence has got to show he's still one of the NFL's top-run defenders if he wants to cash in when he hits the open market. But before we go any further with the news, if you share our passion for the Dallas Cowboys, don't miss any updates. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest news, trade deals, and player highlights. Your support drives us to offer the best content about the Cowboys, so let's get ready for an exciting season together. Let's keep going. Exciting developments may be on the horizon for the Dallas Cowboys. According to anonymous sources, the team is preparing for some. Why Dallas might be ready to let Lawrence go is cause they just picked up Marshawn Neeland in the second round. Now, when the Cowboys were up, folks were hollering for a run and back or something else, but once Neyland's name was called, it was hard to argue. The scouts say he's built like Lawrence and moves like him too, but he's probably better at stopping the run than rushing the passer. If all goes well, Neyland should be starting come 2025, but he's gotta have a killer rookie year to earn that trust. One young defensive end the Cowboys need to step up right quick is Sam Williams. He's heading into his crucial third year and with Dorrance Armstrong and Dante Fowler heading off to Washington with Quinn, Williams has a clear path to be a big part of the rotation. He's got every chance to prove himself as a pass rusher, but if he has a down year, the Cowboys might start looking for new talent next spring. Williams saw what went down with Kelvin Joseph in his third season, so he knows draft pedigree ain't everything. Now, y'all keep an eye on these young guns, Neyland and Williams, cause they could be the key to the Cowboys' defensive future. Stay tuned for more Dallas Cowboys news and see how these fellas shape up. One of Joseph's fellow 2021 draft picks, Chauncey Galston, is fastened an even tougher spot with his contract running out. 
Now, he ain't been a bust like Joseph or Nashon Light, but he also ain't shown as bright as Parsons or OSAO de Gizawa from that same batch. Galston's been keeping his head down, focusing on his role as a run stop and D, filling in for Lawrence every now and then, but he ain't had many chances to really make a splash. With Nealon stepping in, Galston's gotta hope he sees enough play and time to make a strong case for his 2025 free agency. This season, the hunger in the pack is gonna be something fierce, and that's good news for the Dallas Cowboys. Micah Parsons is still here, lifting everyone's spirits, but how much of the last three seasons' success can we chalk up to Dan Quinn? The performance of the DEs in 2024 will tell us a lot about what Dallas had in Quinn, what they've gained or lost in Mike Zimmer, and what's needed as these player contracts start coming up over the next couple of years. Hey y'all, what do you think about the future of our Cowboys' defensive ends? There's a lot up in the air, from Micah Parsons' role and contract situation to Demarcus Lawrence's potential exit and the rise of young talents like Marshawn Neeland and Sam Williams. Will Parsons continue to dominate without Dan Quinn? Can Lawrence prove he's still top tier? And what about the newcomers? Let's get a conversation going in the comments. Share your thoughts on how you see our defense shaping up this season. Hey y'all! The Dallas Cowboys are in for a wild ride, trying to keep their star players around. They gotta dig deep in them pockets to keep quarterback Dak Prescott, wide receiver C.D. Lamb, and edge rusher Micah Parsons on the roster. Stephen Jones, who's pretty much running the show with his daddy, Jerry, mentioned they're working hard on figuring out the finances. You know, when you talk about C.D., Dak, and someone like Micah coming up, Jones told Scoop City Podcast, you're dealing with some of the best in the game. It's kinda like what the Vikings are doing with Jefferson, trying to keep top talent that's not a quarterback paid like the best in the league. And then there's Dak. He's got one heck of a resume, second in MVP voting last year and all. He's been amazing here in Dallas, but these deals take a lot of time and money. We gotta be real careful and smart to keep Dak surrounded by these incredible players we were lucky enough to draft. Jones knows it's gonna be tough paying Lamb and Parsons, who were both first-team All-Pro picks in 2023, along with their experienced quarterback. The whole situation got trickier when Jefferson set the bar for non-quarterback salaries. Last month, the Vikings went all out and signed Jefferson to a four-year, $140 million deal, making him the highest-paid non-QB in NFL history. Stacking up contracts like that sure is a challenge, Jones mentioned about the deals for Prescott, Lamb, and Parsons. Ain't saying it can't be done, but there's gotta be some give and take. Just look at the Vikings with that Jefferson deal, ain't nobody else on their team making over $20 million. Now, we got Dak, Trayvon Diggs, Zach Martin, and Demarcus Lawrence all pulling in big bucks. But that's no excuse. We believe we can figure it out, just takes some time. Prescott, at 30, is wrapping up a four-year, $160 million contract and is set to cost the Cowboys $55.5 million against the cap this season. Lamb, who's 25, is under a $17.99 million fifth-year option in 2024. Parsons, also 25, has one year left on his rookie deal worth $17.1 million, and the Cowboys picked up his $21.3 million option for 2025, making him eligible for an extension. We're hopeful we can lock these guys down, Jones said on the podcast. Dak knows our goal is to keep him here. We're having conversations with his agent and with Dak himself. He understands the challenges, but we're all working towards the same goal. Folks, it's a lot to juggle, but we're confident we can get our key players signed up and keep the Cowboys strong. Hey y'all! What do you think about the Dallas Cowboys' efforts to keep their star players? With Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, and Micah Parsons all up for new deals, it's clear the team is facing a major financial challenge. Stephen Jones compared their situation to the Vikings' recent deal with Justin Jefferson, highlighting how tough it is to balance big contracts. How do you feel about the Cowboys' chances of keeping all these stars while managing the cap? Do you think they'll find a way to make it work, or are there tough decisions ahead? Share your thoughts and predictions in the comments below, I'm excited to hear what you think.